for years, sci-fi movies have imagined the possibilities of immortality. And now with holograms and AI, everyone from famous musicians to past presidents can live on. Virtual immortality is on the tech list. Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're my only hope. Holograms, or 3D images created by shaping light, have been entertaining us at the movies for years. And these days, they're bringing back the dearly departed from presidents to pop stars. So we'd like to introduce you to three very famous people who are continuing on in virtual form, starting with artist extraordinaire Salvador Dali. I in life always believe the desire to survive and the fear of death. After being gone more than 30 years, the iconic painter is back at the Dolly Museum in St. Petersburg, Florida, thanks to machine learning and a cutting edge hologram. They used hundreds of quotes, interviews, and documentary footage to create this lifelike hologram that visitors can interact with starting in April. I do not believe in my death. Do you? The surrealist master painter would surely find his hologram, well, surreal. Rock, pop, and opera stars take to the stage at number two. A company called Bass Hologram recreated rocker Roy Orbison and opera singer Maria Callas. It works using a hologram projected on stage with a live band or orchestra. And later this year, Amy Winehouse will start her virtual tour. I know that she supports everything that we do. We're keeping her name alive. We're keeping her legacy alive. A portion of the proceeds from this tour will go to the Amy Winehouse Foundation. We'll wrap our list of AI immortality with our 40th president, Ronald Reagan. The Gipper recently got the hologram treatment, so visitors to the Ronald Reagan Presidential Library can hear what he was like on the campaign trail. Let's start with the record in the period between 1976 and 1980. Artists, pop stars, and presidents living on through holograms. You ain't seen nothing yet. On the tech.